underclocking your gaming laptop. So why do we underclock our gaming laptops? To understand that, we have to look at what happens when we do underclock. But first, what is underclocking? So underclocking is the process of limiting the maximum clock speed that your processing cores can reach when under load. So there are two main reasons why we do underclock our CPUs. Firstly being thermals. So underclocking leads to much better thermals because there is, there is less strain on the CPU due to the reduced clock speed, which in turn, for a laptop, leads to a lower power consumption. For desktop too, but laptops is more relevant because we are dealing with batteries and not just the power from the wall. This affects battery life of laptops. As a laptop, you would be carrying this around in a bag or somewhere uh, around with you at work, university or wherever you bring your laptop. But surely you cannot expect this to come without any compromises. In fact, lowering your clock speed heavily affects your performance. Performance is very much affected when you do lower your clock speed. Essentially, you are nerfing your machine. So why on earth would you do it? Well. Say, for example, you're a student at university, you are attending a lecture, or you are at work in a meeting. And the last thing you want is for your computer to suddenly have the funds ramp up. That could be quite the awkward situation. And that happens because computers, generally speaking, even though they are on batteries, uh, will still reach their maximum clock speed when, you know, when, uh, when there are things to be done. Say, opening files, reading you know, whatever. And if you're in presentation, if you are at work, maybe you have to look at a presentation. If you're a student, maybe you have to look at lecture notes, maybe even just writing down stuff on the laptop and that obviously takes power. But you get what I mean. For very simple tasks, having your gaming laptop in full performance mode is like, you know, using a Ferrari to go down the street to buy a drink. You waste fuel and you make a lot of noise. So let me show you how you can quickly and easily lower your clock speed and just as easily revert back to your full power without doing so much as flicking a bit. Mind you, this is different from setting your laptop to cool mode in your, say, gaming software that comes pre-installed in your laptop, such as for HP, the Omen Gaming Hub. So, first thing first, I'll have Open Hardware Monitor open, so you can see how the maximum clock speed changes as I run Cinebench R23. Then, I'll go to the power plan and then change advanced power settings. Scroll down to processor power management. Now, if you have seen a few of my previous videos, you know that I like the option of the processor performance boost switch. This is another way of lowering your clock speed to the maximum base clock of the CPU. If you're interested, check out my other video on lowering the fan noise on your laptop. I think it works for Intel too, but I haven't tried. What we want is the maximum processor state. You'll see that my processor state is set at 99% for both battery and when plugged in. This is not quite linear, so more of that later. So let's quickly run Cinebench and see what the max clock speed is. You'll see that we are indeed reaching the maximum clock speed of the CPU. Here's the trick. On the dock down here, you'll see the little battery icon. Clicking on it shows three options. I have mine set at best performance, but look at what happens when I move the slider. The clock speed drops, and this is the maximum clock speed that the processor can reach in this state. So essentially, you have underclocked your CPU. You can reverse this just as easily by flicking this back. So this is how you underclock the CPU. Um, there is no need to underclock the GPU, because for what you'll be doing, it is not likely that the GPU will be engaged um, you know, to do any work. If you do see that your dedicated GPU is doing work while on battery, you should probably go into your NVIDIA control panel and set your preferred GPU to be the integrated one. So by sacrificing a little bit of performance, well, I will have to quantify that eventually, but by sacrificing that some of that performance, you'll be getting better battery life, which is very important for a laptop, especially a gaming laptop, uh, if that's your replacement for a normal laptop and the reduced fan noise. So instead of ramping up to its max speed every 10 minutes, it will mostly run quiet. And if it does ever come on, it will be at a very low speed. So it won't be bothering anyone. I will be making a video about all the combination between processor power state, sorry, maximum processor state, and you know the power settings. But testing will take some time, so I'm afraid you'll have to wait for that. But 
do subscribe so you don't miss it. I will be making more videos in between which are not necessarily related to this and I do plan on starting one or two series, you know, um, one named I think things you should know how to do and another one hopefully you no, know, it will be a surprise. Either way I hope you'll find them useful for either you know your university life or your work life because they can be useful in both. They are transferable skills and other things will obviously just be skills that you can show off to people like your friends at a bar if you go to bars if you have friends so this is it so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time